Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. Today marks a very, very, very special day because it's been eight months since I have managed to pull my favorite character in Genshin Impact, Kaching. And in that time, I have spent, you know, hundreds and millions of resin, probably not that much, but a lot of resin, a lot of resources, and a lot of time into perfecting the ideal Kaching build. And today I'm going to go and run through my build on Kaching, how I play her, and what makes her, you know, possibly one of my favorite characters in this game. It was eight months ago when I lost the 50-50 on Raiden Shogun banner to her, and I think it was half a year ago when I put out that video, which was I soloed every were weekly boss with Kaching. Yeah. It's also been six months since everyone in the YouTube comments absolutely flamed me for my Kaching build back then. Quick disclaimer, this is in no way a guide. I'm not telling you, you know, how you should build Kaching or how you should play her. I'm just telling you what what I have on her, how I play her, and what makes her one of my favorite characters. I hope this will be somewhat informational for those of you who always ask about my Kaching build. And in case you are curious, but if you come to the Twitch stream at twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen and you type exclamation mark Kaching, there usually is a clip of my build on her attached to it. If it, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, I think this should be a fun little way to recap on our journey building Kaching over the past eight months and see just exactly what we can do with her so all right this is kaching she is one of the standard five star characters you can get on losing the 50 50 or pulling on the standard banner and she just uh, so happens to be my main as well now what makes kaching so special uh that's a great question um well for one look at these attack animations okay come oh my God. Look, at, look at these attack animations Boom. Are you f I think she has some of the cleanest normal attack animations in this game, along with that finisher. Look, she like, like dashes. I think that's super cool. And she attacks super fast as well, which is one of the reasons that I do play her. I'm all about speed, efficiency, and as one of the fastest sword users in this game with her teleportation skill and her ult. It makes her a great candidate uh, for anyone looking for speed. Now, uh, I guess we should go through, we should probably go through exactly what I have on her, right? The artifacts, the weapon, the build. This is probably one of the most important parts to any showcase, you know, what am I running here? Well, as you can see, these are the base stats, uh, at least for the build I have on her right now. This is 2000 attack with, uh, I guess, 35 EM, but that doesn't really matter. And this is the current ratio that I am running it's a 70 to 244 so not a not a shabby build not not a shabby build right and she does have a bit of energy recharge here 116 and electro damage bonus of 81.6 this is something that's going to come in handy in just a moment now if we take a look at the weapon i personally think that either the mist splitter or the jade cutter uh, is a perfectly valid option for her jade cutter does give more crit damage and gives somewhat of an attack bonus based off HP, but Miss Splitter does give the elemental damage bonus and a higher base attack. Also, I spent uh, like way too much money getting this weapon to not put it on her. So uh, this is what we're running at the moment. It is the Miss Splitter Reforged, and I think we can actually take it to 90 right now if I have enough ores, which we don't. Look at everyone in my chat screaming at me not to use it. Oh, I hate this weapon. Oh my, okay, you know. Will I ever need this slingshot? Probably not. Goodbye. And there we have it. Maxed out Misputer Reforged. Yes, I spent way too much money on this freaking weapon not to use it. Well, uh, which you probably will have watched the video by the time this one comes out. But yeah, so I have chosen to use the Misputer Reforged on her. It gives 674 base attack, which is extremely, extremely high. Plus, look at this. Doesn't the purple just complement like her whole color scheme so well? This is the best weapons in the game. Aside from the fact that it does provide an elemental damage bonus, which is super useful 
for her because if we take a look at her talents, obviously Triple Crown has been for the past half a year, I think. Anytime she casts her E uh, with this skill right here, Kaching will gain an Electro Infusion for five seconds on her sword. Meaning, you do something like this, all her attacks become Electro. Wow, that's super crazy. Epic mechanic that absolutely no one else in this game has, right? So yeah, that's why this elemental damage bonus is so useful. And I just think Miss Splitter looks super cool. Artifacts, what is she running? I think this is probably one of the most important parts to any character. Like you could have as many cons as you want. You could upgrade their talents and they'll do damage. But this is what this is what takes any character to the next level. Now I have spent I've spent way too much resin getting these artifacts. So I, I think I have pretty a pretty decent artifact build on her but yeah just temper your expectations before uh you compare like damage output to what she's running so for the flower we have not bad 10 percent crit rate with 22 percent crit damage and it's on the two-piece gladiators meaning she does get the extra 18 percent attack bonus what's nice about this as well is there's some em in here as well as energy recharge i think this is probably one of the best flowers i have ever rolled feather uh not shabby i think i, I got this piece like two days ago i literally just did an artifact strong box and just managed to pull this piece and this is what it went this is what it turned into uh 33 crit damage to seven percent crit rate on this one also glad sands this one ah it's on piece and it's attack plus it has 10 percent crit rate and 13 percent crit damage but i always wish this this piece could be improved especially the hp roll as well as this defense if it was like attack i'd be okay with it but it's a stand-in until i spend like 10,000 more resin to get another perfect piece for her but yeah it's not bad. It's not bad. Goblet. This is probably one of the best on-piece goblets I've ever gotten. Electro damage bonus on the Thundering Fury set. 20% crit damage to 7% crit rate. Pretty good, I would say. Pretty good. Uh, on-piece, that's super rare as well. And finishing it off, we have the Circlet. Uh, this one has some crit rate on it as well as 24% crit damage. Also glad, so I could choose to swap some things out if I really wanted. Yeah, obviously the Sands circlet could be improved, but this is pretty much as close to perfect as it's going to get for me right now. Unless, of course, I went and spent like 18 fragile resin to get like 1000 resin to farm like the Thundering Fury domain and get like an absolutely perfect artifact set for her, right? <laughs> Should I actually do it? Worth it, but don't. <laughs> Okay, you know, I think I think I think her artifacts are pretty good as is. Cons. Let's talk about constellations. She is C3. However, if we do walk through these cons, uh uh she really doesn't get any damage bonus output other than like I guess her ult from C3, but all her damage cons really come from C4 and C6. So really, like to be honest, if you triple crown your Kaching, get decent artifacts, and this Miss Splitter is R1. This is like completely obtainable with a C to like F2P build if you just like invested in her all your resources. This is what your F2P Kaching could look like. Okay, I know it's a stretch. I know it's a stretch. Like I'm I'm for real. Her constellations are just uh all right, damage showcase. Let's see. Let's see what she can do. All right, looks like we have some hilly churls and some slimes. Uh, why am I taking burning damage already? Important thing to note about the mist splitter: you do need these stacks in order to gain the elemental damage bonus. But these can easily be obtained by one, not having your ult up, and number two, just doing any normal attack. So if I do that right there, she gains like 16% extra elemental damage bonus. And all we need to do is boom. What was that number? Anyways, you can see the chart charge attacks very very nice she has some of the highest charge attack scalings in this game which makes her super versatile as well we just do this 17.7 i think was that 17.7 on a uh on a single e and that's not including like the damage that they take from the actual thing hitting them as well as the extra electro damage she does while teleporting there uh, if we want to get all stacks all we need to do is okay normal attack come over here i ult and she should have all her stacks up, meaning 18.5? 18.5k 18 
on the E, which I would say is pretty nice. If, if we talk about her charge attacks here, take a look at the scaling. Boom. Charge attack damage 152 plus 170 here, which is pretty high in this game. And that doesn't only apply to Electro as well. There's tons of different ways to play Kaching. You can play her as, you know, Ryo Kaching. I've seen Pyro Kaching. Obviously, Electro. Fizz Kaching? Fizz Kaching? Yeah, that's the thing. I used to run Fizz Kaching, which is why I got roasted so hard in my <laughs> in my first uh, solo video. But yeah, tons of different ways to play her. And that makes her like one of the most versatile players players characters in this game teams let's talk about teams next teams are probably one of the most important parts to genshin impact because guess what this is a team game now you can build like solo characters while they may be fun but this game is all about synergy it's about how you can you know best clear content with the four characters you're given for me this is the current team i have i have Jean, my designated healer uh, she's also rather built if you can see like i can just bop that's like 20k right there. Plus, the C2 allows me to run extra fast, which I talked about earlier, speed. One of the most crucial aspects in this game, to me at least. Next, we have my main DPS, ka -ching. The highlight of this video here. Obviously, the reason why I'm even covering this right now. Third, Kazaha. He is my designated grouper. So if you can see a bunch of mobs over there, what do I need to do? Just, you know, come over here and just hold E with Kazaha. And he, it also does help that he has 1000 elemental mastery, which boosts Kaching's electro damage as well as like does crazy amount of, you know, reaction stuff. And then last but not least, we have the Raiden Shogun. Her purpose on this team, although she, you know, does make for an amazing DPS, she is C4 by the way, <laughs> but her purpose here is she presses e that's that's her point here that's that's why she's here oh my god get this bubble away from me see i press e i swirl with kazaha and then kaching does the rest 15k on just one hit of her charge attacks and you got to multiply that by two as well so you know with reactions and kazaha she can hit upwards of like 30k on each charge attack which is not something a lot of a uh, lot of players or not not something a lot of characters in this game can boast about obviously this is just the team i choose to run doesn't take advantage of any elemental reactions whatsoever the only thing which is kind of nice is the double animo which gives me extra movement speed and stamina decrease but uh yeah if you if you just build your supports like Kazaha and I guess Raiden and Jean, any character will be fine in a DPS slot. All right, let's talk about some other team comps that make her super fun to play. So if we swap over to some other team comps here, you can see just some other ways you can play Kaching. We have, boom, uh, what is this team you might be asking? This is a very, very special team that I call C6 Bennett. And what's so special about C6 Bennett? The fact that he <laughs> allows you to infuse any of your characters with Pyro, as long as they're like sword or pull arm users. So all we need to do here is swap some artifacts out with uh, two piece Crimson and two piece Glad. She now has Pyro damage bonus. And should we switch the weapon? 2000 attack with 53 to 258. Nah, she's probably fine. Pyro Kaching is something that has been going around the community. I, It's actually pretty strong, stronger than you would expect. But I would say the only drawback to this is one, you need a C6 Bennett and two, it, it only works while he has his ult up. But if we just do this, you can see she's hitting 30K on a single strike, meaning these are like 60K charge attacks, which is just insane. Like to think about a character can just deal that amount of damage simply based off of charge attacks. Her electro damage isn't bad either. Although she does have like, you know, pyro cup and stuff like that. It's like nine K while well, he has resistance as well. Not not too shabby, but yeah, if you ever get bored of perhaps Fizz Kaching and Electro Kaching, there's there's always another option. It's it's called Pyro Kaching and C6 Bennett. <laughs> Boom. Boom. And now she has max bonuses. Let's see how much she does. 33k I saw on a single strike there. And I think she was doing like 15k on her normal attacks which is pretty absurd but yeah that just goes to show the power of pyro kaching and c6 bennett but that's besides the point here <laughs> the next team we have is none other than 
Cryo Kaching. Now I know Chung Yun is level one, but that's that's not relevant here because his only purpose, you guessed it, is to press E, just like Raiden Shogun. Now there's plenty of different ways to play uh, Cryo Kaching. I know some people run it with Diona. In my personal opinion, I'm gonna run Shen He because of the added cryo damage bonus that uh, she allows us to have. But I think four piece blizzard isn't a bad way to run cryo kaching, right? Cause you can easily make up for the lack of crit rate that a character may experience, especially with mist splitter. So if we take a look at the stats, four piece uh, blizzard, these are the artifact details. Weapon, still the mist splitter, and she has almost 2K attack with 36 to 277. Now keep in mind the cryo resonance as well as the blizzard set gives like an additional what 35 40 percent crit rate so in reality this is like this is pretty good let's see who should be our test subject for cryo kaching sorry child i'm coming back all right i think the way you play this is do this do this do this 17k on a single strike 30 okay this does this is a little harder to set up than pyro kaching, but this 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 does way more damage. And of course, last but not least, I'm not gonna show off Fizz. I think it's pretty simple to build Fizz. Uh, you just what two piece Bloodstain, two piece uh, Pale Flame, and then a Kill of Avonia or something like that. But Electro kaching, if you actually wanted Electro kaching showcase, I suppose I could do something for you there. Now I can't exactly use Bennett like every other showcaser does because well I C6'd him, but we can we can still make something happen, right? Especially with C6 Sara. I think for like optimal performance, technically four piece Thunder Soother does edge out two piece uh, Glad, two piece Thundering Fury, but I think it's like by a minimal margin. Plus it's just, it's just such a pain, man. It's just such a pain to farm four piece Thunder Soother that it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna use this for now. <laughs> so yeah, this is the original build we saw from the beginning. Zhongli, Kazuha, 1000 EM or 994 and a C6 Sara. All right, we will need a new test subject because obviously our favorite uh, Fatui friend here has electro resistance. So let's visit our second favorite test subject, Azlaha's little brother. Let's see, it is Pyro. Let's just drop on in and uh, say hello to our favorite friend here. I'm gonna use Zhongli because he decreases elemental resistance by 20%, plus the shield makes it easier to showcase stuff, but so how do we do this? Simple, E, Kaza swirls that, Sara ults, Kaching gains the electro damage bonus. I think this is less than last time, but that was 45k plus 26 and 23. And of course, it's a lot easier to maintain uptime with an electro team, considering she is electro. But also keep in mind that while that like last number might seem like all the ult is doing, she hits what, eight times, eight consecutive slashes. So like those seven, eight Ks that you saw on her ult, multiply that by eight, and then you got to add that to the uh, final number at the end. So I think it was like, I can't math, uh, 56, 56K plus uh, like what the 40 K it did at the end. So that's like pretty much a hundred K ult. Now, I think the final testament is how does she stand solo? I think this is a completely irrelevant question, but anyone, everyone's going to ask that anyways. So I'm not going to solo every single world boss for you guys again, but I guess we could try soloing one or two uh, <laughs> weekly bosses. Which one should we do though? I got an idea. I'm going to do... <laughs> a singular random showcase here for which boss we should fight. Yeah, and I'll just I'll just show you, you know, how Kaching fares as a solo against one of these bosses, which is going to be the big brother of the frog we just bullied, and he's Electro. All right, all right actually, I'm going to I'm going to switch my build here. <laughs> Let me just let me just do this real quick. I'm gonna go to the Jade Cutter build. There we go, this is the Jade Cutter build. It's 86 to 240 with 2.24 K attack. It's been a six months since I last soloed him with Kaching, but my build has gotten a lot better and so has the experience uh, we've gained in this game. So obviously you can see the uh, elemental skill damage isn't necessarily as high, but you know, I think the consistency of it makes up for it. And there we go, phase one complete. It's going a lot better than it ever did last time, but. <laughs> Important not to get hit here. That would be 
fatal for our run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! oh, oh, oh. It's fine. One hit won't kill us. One hit won't kill us here. Get as much off as we can here. We're like, this is like two thirds through, two thirds through. Unfortunately, he gains a buttload of electro resistance now, but uh, still doable. Dude, why does, oh no. Oh, I'm alive, I'm alive. Oh my God. Oh no. Dude, the electro resistance is killing me. <laughs> I do no damage anymore. Why did it have to be electro? He would be dead by now <laughs> if he wasn't. I'm heated, man. Well, good thing this is a team game because what in the world is going on there? Dude, this is like the standard banner trio. <laughs> Standard banner trio and Ayaka. It's okay. Venti with four piece viridescent will swirl for us here. Yes, swirl. My electro. Okay, you're swirling. Okay, well. But yeah, notice the synergy that my Kaching is providing with Ganyu here. The superconduct, very, very useful for Chi Chi here, whose only source of damage output is, uh, oh god, why are you doing this? Is physical damage. I know Electro as an element is somewhat looked down upon, uh, by the rest of the world. <laughs> I say, I say that I'm like I'm in Attack on Titan or something. Uh, I know, I know it's not like the greatest element to be using here, but it gets the job done. It gets the job done, especially considering you can pretty much just change her element <laughs> if you have Chong Yun or C6 Bennett. And of course, we finish him off with the final slash. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and anyone else watching my video, is the Kaching Showcase. And a dream solvent. Let's go, Pog Crazy. Good work. Why did why did they say Venti? <laughs> why did I said standard banner showcase and they just they just said Venti? <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That is my showcase of my Kaching, who I have spent, you know, quite a considerable amount of time building. You know, maybe you grab some useful tips and tricks, some insight on perhaps the next character you want to build. And if not, I hope it was entertaining at the very least. She is probably one of my favorite characters in this game, which is why I have spent so many resources and invested them into her, but I don't regret it a single bit. Extremely fun to play and yeah, moving forward, I will definitely continue to play her at least until I get the C6. <laughs> Unless, what if I got the C6 right now? Nope. Okay, it's maybe, maybe next year. If you're watching this on YouTube, hope you guys enjoyed that little demonstration. Disclaimer said at the beginning, but this is definitely not a guide, just how I prefer to play Kaching and how I've specifically built her. If you wanna watch it live, it's twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. Join us here. It is very fun to watch me not be able to edit stuff out of my videos. But if you enjoyed, also consider subscribing. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And if not, I don't know, dislike it or something like that. Thank you once again for watching this video if you made it all the way through. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace.